Hey everybody. Ah, how are you today on this beautiful Friday morning? For me anyway, it's Friday morning. Good to see you. Lots of interesting uh, conversation going on, <laughs> going on in the chat. Everyone's saying hi, 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 hello. A lot of the, the usual crowd in the chat, which is good to see. Milena's here, Zainab, hi. Rosa and Rosa. Jundi, French, Leo, Nitesh. Painkiller. Hey, how are you? The artist. I like that. Gabriel. All right. Knowledge is free. Chari's here. Lots of people are here. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, no, I'm good. Honestly, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you guys. I am tired. I am... <laughs> I am really, really tired today. I'm good, I'm good, but I am exhausted because I have, I have a little baby girl at home who just likes to scream all night. And this week, oh yeah, it is, wow, it is Friday the 13th, isn't it? Wow, oh yeah, be careful. So, <laughs> Wissam Benadji is, is new here. Hello, Hakimi saying hi. Yeah, so yeah, lots yeah, exactly. Gabriel, she's got some teeth. This this is this is this is the pretty little mess here. I mean, she's she's older than that now, but there you go. She's on my cup. It's she's lucky she's cute though because she kept me up all night. That's actually You know what? That's a good little review of our grammar from last class, right? I said, "Now I am tired." Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to jump right in here because that, that works out really well. I am tired now, right? I am exhausted. Why am I tired? Because I haven't slept well this week, right? I haven't slept well this week because my baby has been growing teeth. <laughs> right. Anyway, okay. Uh, so if if I if I fall asleep for a couple minutes, or just stare at the screen blankly, or just start to cry <laughs> randomly, just be patient. Just be patient. Give me a minute. Let me let me cry it out. I'll have a good cry, and then and then I'll be back. Okay. But good to see you. I see some. New people in the chat, which is all, always great. Sarang Samo is saying, reply to me. So, hey, that's me replying to you, Sarang. <laughs> all right, hey, welcome. So, um, I, I realize I just jumped right into the class, but hi, I'm Sean, all right? I'm Sean, and I'm gonna be your teacher for the next hour or so, all right? And this, of course, is the intermediate level class. I know some of you are, are higher than the intermediate level, but that's that's okay because some of this stuff will be will be review and, and even for higher level students, it's good to sometimes go back to the basics and kind of fix little mistakes that you've kind of continued um, as you have progressed up the levels. Right? You can always go back and, <laughs> and learn. Steve, you're gonna you're gonna sing you're gonna sing a lullaby. Yeah, for me. Yeah. I don't think I need a lullaby. I think I can fall asleep with without music. Oh, but that would be nice. Or nursery rhyme. <laughs> yeah, right. Mohammed is saying he has trouble with the present and the past perfect. Okay. Well, we're not really going to be talking about the past perfect today, Mohammed, but that's a great question to put in the uh, in the Facebook group if you do that. Um, Maybe next class we'll talk about the present perfect versus the past simple. But um, but uh, today, yeah, today we're going to be uh, continuing on with the with the present perfect. So, again, hi, I'm Sean. <laughs> I'm your teacher. If you have questions, of course, like Mohammed uh, Fakur, I think Faker, just just um, put in the chat. Put your uh, questions in the chat, and I will try to answer them as as best. I can. All right. All right. So, I thought today, as kind of a warm-up, a lead-in 
to what we are going to do today is uh, I thought we would do a little bit of listening practice. Just a real quick, brief little listening, okay? All right, so I am going to go into SMART. I'm going to go into the class. Oh, Saranga, is that, is that your, little, your little lullaby for me? <laughs> All right. Is that Weeum? Is that how I say your name? Weeum. You're saying you're new here? Hi. Good. Okay. So a real quick little warm-up listening. So I'm going into um, Unit 7 in the 120 Intermediate class. Okay. And I'm going into the listening section called uh, Meet Peter. Okay. So any, any premium subscriber could go into... Um, can go right into 7-1 if you want. The unit theme, okay, the theme of the unit is uh, music and art, which is, uh, uh, those are two topics that I, that I enjoy. <laughs> French Leo's gonna cry. Are you gonna cry because Steve's voice is so, is so beautiful? Yeah? Okay, so a quick warm-up question for you guys, <laughs> okay? is I'm, we're not going to talk about all of these questions because we have a lot of stuff to do today. But I like this first question. It's about musical instruments, right? Do you play any instruments? And if so, how long have you been playing it or them? So Steve is a singer. Obviously, he's gonna, he can sing uh, a lullaby or two, right? Do we have any, any uh, musicians? In the, in the crowd. Carla's here. Cool. Hi, Carla. And Carla plays the guitar. How long have you been playing the guitar, Carla? Mohammed, he's all ears, yeah. Anybody else? Does anyone else play music? I play a couple instruments. I can, I can play guitar. Since 1980, Carla. Cool. Very cool. All right. I, uh, Zainab plays guitar? Cool. For how long? How long have you played guitar, Zainab? Zainab's been playing guitar for four years. Cool. Yeah, I've been playing guitar for a long time now. Uh, I, pl I play drums, too. I can play the drums. Rosa plays piano. Knowledge is free. Can't, can't play anything. <laughs> All right. Chari's not good at music. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, you're never, you're never bored if you can play music. If you have a guitar, um, you always have something to do to pass the time, right? The artist played guitar for a week. <laughs> yeah, good. Jose plays the flute. Very cool. <laughs> Vivek plays, <laughs> plays heart strings. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad can play football. That's great. Okay, so we are going to um, do a quick listening here. I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into this. Actually, I'm I'm going to play it here. As I said, the the listening is called um, Meet Peter. Okay, <laughs> so any premium subscriber that that is in this class, don't worry about going into the exercise. I'm just going to open this up right here. <clears throat> we're going to start with three easy questions. Okay? We're going we're gonna to start simple, start light, right? Three questions that I want you guys to listen for. <laughs> yeah, Chari can ring the bell like a doorbell. You can play the doorbell. <laughs> All right. So three questions here, guys. What does Peter do is the first question. And you know what, this is a simple question, but it's, it's a question that sometimes students get confused about. It's a real simple, four-letter question, or four-word question, but um, what do you do, or what does Peter do, um, as a very general, broad kind of question, means what is his job, okay? If you look at C, it says, what does Peter do during the day, all right? During the day, that's more specific, okay? If I say, what do you do on the weekend, I mean for, for fun. But what does Peter do is for work. Ch uh, Carla's saying for a living, exactly, right. What does he do for a living? Yeah, that's a really good 
thing that I can put in into the brackets here, into the parentheses. Good. All right, thanks for your help, Carla. That's great. And B, has Peter been interested in music for a long or short time? Okay, long time or short time is the, the first uh, thing that we're going to look at there. And then C, what does he do during the day? So three questions. And Gabriel, what is his occupation exactly right? Good, 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 good. So we're going to listen to this twice. But honestly, I'm not going to play the whole thing. It's about two minutes long, but I'm only going to play the first 30 to 45 seconds of this talk of Peter, okay, talking about himself and what he does. All right, so let me set this up. You guys, I'm sure, are tired of, of hearing my voice, so now you're going to hear, you're going to hear Peter's voice, okay? So are you, you guys ready? All right, so listen for these answers, and of course, put your answers, just put your answers into the chat, and then we'll talk about it together. And then we'll listen again for, for uh, some more detail. Okay, French Leo's ready. All right, I'm ready too. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, here we go. Listen to this from. Hi, my name's Peter. That's right. So, <laughs> just before we continue, just so we're clear, you know, that's, that's not, that's not me. I know that you might think that sounds a lot like me. It sounds a little familiar, but, <laughs> but no, because you heard him. He said, my name is Peter. So, it's not me. It's, it's Peter, <laughs> okay? Because that's what I said, or that's what, sorry, that's what he said, right? Yeah, you guys are too smart. All right, so, <laughs> yeah. So here, listen, listen up. 30 seconds, 45 seconds of Peter describing himself. Okay, here we go. My name's Peter, exit doing anything else. My name's Peter. I'm 25 years old and I live in Vancouver, Canada. We play mostly punk songs, so most people don't like our sound. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, hang on, hang on. I'm having some technical, technical problems here. All right, let's start from the beginning. Don't panic. Here he is, Peter. All right? Here we go. Hi, my name's Peter. I'm 25 years old and I live in Vancouver, Canada. I'm a musician and an artist. The people at SMART asked me to talk a little bit about myself and my life. So here goes. First of all, as for music, I've been playing instruments since I was a child. My parents gave me my first guitar when I was five. I fell in love with making music right away. I played it all the time when I was a kid, and as I grew older, I started learning other instruments. When I was 10, my father brought home a piano. Also, I've been playing the drums since I was 13. In total, I've learned the guitar, bass guitar, drums, and piano. I haven't tried the saxophone, so I think that will be the instrument I try to learn next. Now, I have a band with my friends. We've been composing and playing songs together since high school. The band consists of just three members. My friend, Joe, is the singer and guitarist. I play bass. My girlfriend, Claire, plays the drums. We play mostly punk songs, so most people don't like our sound. Our taste in music is pretty strange. However, we've been performing live for a few years now, and we're starting to get a lot of fans. Maybe we'll be rich and famous one day. During the day, I study art. I've been going to Emily Carr University in Vancouver for three years. And I'm All right, good, 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 good. All right. So that was about, that was a little bit over a minute of Peter <laughs> talking about himself. Right. Carla is his girlfriend. That's right. Vivek is jealous, I think. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so three questions, right? What does Peter do for a living? Let's see some answers here. Let's see. Knowledge is free. He, he plays music. Yeah, sure. That's that's pretty that's a pretty good answer. Good. Diari got it. Good for you. Nora got it. Yeah, well Nora you got half. And Zayed you got half. Aaron nailed it. Good for you. So 
Yeah, so he is he is a musician and an artist. Okay, so both. A lot of you said musician, and that's great. But he's also an artist, he said. Good, Rosa. Shubham, good, good, good. All right, so the next question was... Has Peter been interested in music for a long time or a short time? And I think most of you got that one too. Alejandra's here, good to see you. And she says a long time. Carla said the same thing, a long time. Definitely. Sudeep is saying his bread and butter is music. <laughs> yeah, good for you. So yes, I'm gonna put a short answer here. A long time. Wissam, good for you. Samuel's here saying, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing very well, thank you. All right, so, yeah, he's been going for a long time since, I don't know how, how old he was, but a very long time, good for you. Carol, nice. And the last one, C, is more specific about what, what he does. What does he do during the day? Who heard this? Nora, good. Gabriel says he sounds like he has a lot of fun. Yes, yes, he does. More fun than me, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vivek is jealous, I know, yeah. All right. Diary, you got it, good for you. French Leo, yep, that's right. French Leo got it. He studies, oh, why isn't that blue? He studies art. And if you want to get really specific, he said, he said, Peter said, he studies art at... Emily Carr University. And Emily Carr University is a is a art school here in Vancouver, very not too far from where I am right now in Vancouver. Okay? So Emily Carr, Emily Carr was a Canadian artist, right? A Canadian painter and now she has a school named after her. And that's where Peter studies art during the day. Good stuff. Okay. Really good. Now let's listen to that one more time. Let's listen to Peter one more time. And Akram, I think I just, yeah, I just explained Emily Carr. Google Emily Carr. Look up her, her paintings. She, she did lots of paintings about um, the nature in British Columbia around Vancouver. The mountains and the trees and the um, what we call totem, totem poles. Well, you know what? I'll show you. Emily Carr art. So this is, this is the artwork of Emily Carr. This is some of the stuff that, that she did. Stuff like that, right? So that's Emily Carr, famous Canadian artist. Well, famous in Canada, at least. I don't know how world famous she is. Okay, guys, so that was your little art lesson for the day. <laughs> yeah. Jindy loves art? Yeah, me too, I like art too. We've got a... Museum of Art, an art gallery right across the street from the Canadian College of English Language where I am. Oh, you're asking about this? What does this mean? These, well, these are quotation marks. So if I say Peter, you guys know it's not, it's not really Peter. I know, it's me. I am Peter. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go down to three more questions. Now this is three more specific questions looking for detail, okay? And then we're going to listen to it again. How long has Peter been playing the guitar, okay? B, how did Peter start, when did Peter start playing the piano? And what about the drums? Actually, that's actually two questions in there. That doesn't seem fair, <laughs> right? Okay, so when did he start playing guitar? When did he start playing the piano? What about the drums, okay? And C, how long has Peter been in a band? All right, now I'm looking for guitar, piano, and drums, and the band. I want specific times, ages, okay? All right, so <laughs> finally I'm being honest. Yes, I know. Usually I, I try to trick you. <laughs> okay, let me go back into this. I'm going to refresh it. We're going to go back to the beginning, and we're going to listen to Peter one more time, okay? It's only about a minute, a minute and 20 seconds. 
and of course put your answers in the chat. Okay guys, here we go. Hi, my name's Peter. I'm 25 years old and I live in Vancouver, Canada. I'm a musician and an artist. The people at SMART asked me to talk a little bit about myself and my life, so here goes. First of all, as for music, I've been playing instruments since I was a child. My parents gave me my first guitar when I was five. I fell in love with making music right away. I played it all the time when I was a kid, and as I grew older, I started learning other instruments. Okay, so just so you know, the answer for A, he has already said. Okay, he said the answer for A, but he hasn't said the rest yet. So let's, let's keep listening here. Listen for B and C. When I was 10, my father brought home a piano. Also, I've been playing the drums since I was 13. In total, I've learned the guitar, bass guitar, drums, and piano. I haven't tried the saxophone, so I think that will be the instrument I try to learn next. Now, I have a band with my friends. We've been composing and playing songs together since high school. The band consists of just three members. My friend, Joe, is the singer and guitarist. I play bass. My girlfriend, Claire, plays the drums. All right, that's cool. His girlfriend, Claire, plays the drums. It's cool. And girl drummers are cool. Actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe, my, maybe my, my daughter, she's got some good, some good pipes on her. She can scream. Maybe she'll be in a, in a punk band when she gets older. She certainly, <laughs> she, she certainly has the voice for it, right? Good screaming, good screaming voice. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. How long has Peter been playing the guitar was the question. Vivek, you got it. Zaid, good. Wissam Benaji, Benaji, good. Good for you. Gagandeep Claire A. Absolutely. You guys nailed it. So he's been playing the guitar. I'm going to put, just put short answers in here. Since he was five, right? Since he was five years old, he's been playing the guitar. Good stuff. Okay, what about B, the piano? The piano? Who's got that one? Shubham Gupta. Got it? Good for you. Yomara. Yeah, Yomara got it too. So the piano, <coughs> the piano, sorry for clearing my throat right into the microphone there. The piano was 10. Actually, let me put that down here. Oh, that's too bad. It's not, it's not blue. That's fine. So he's been playing the piano since he was 10, and he's been playing the drums since Yomara, you got both. Good for you. Vivek, you got it. He's been playing the drums since he was... Who else? Who else? French Leo, good for you. Diari, yes. Nora, yeah. You got it. Since he was 13. Okay. And the last one, C. How long has Peter been in a band? Khalid Aliamani. Got it, and you said since high school, okay? Or if you want the full sentence, you could say he has been playing in a band since high school or since he was in high school, okay? You can say either one because I know that sometimes students are confused by that, but we do use high school or elementary school as a time period, which might seem a little strange because obviously a school is not, you don't, might not think of it as time, but it's definitely a way to measure time in your life. So we, you can say since junior high or since high school, since university even, okay? Because those are times in your life. Rose is asking, did I say detail and not details? Well, I mean, you could, you could say either one, but oftentimes, Rosa, we use detail as kind of just a, um, you don't really have to count it. It's kind of an abstract thing, detail, yeah? You could, you could say either one, though, Rosa, good question. 
And Nora says, I think I said details. I don't, I don't know what I said. I have no idea what I said. <laughs> you, guys can, you guys can argue about it in the chat. But either one is good. Okay, so good stuff, guys. Really, really good. Now, the reason we're looking at this, why are we talking about, <laughs> why are we talking about Peter? Well, let me tell you why. Because in the listening, whoops, you heard Peter say all sorts of things. He said, I have, I've been playing instruments since I was a child, right? I've been playing the drums since I was 13. We have been performing live for a few years now, and I've been going to Emily Carr University in Vancouver for three years, he said. All right. Fruit Queen. I don't know if you can see my words. I can see your words, Fruit Queen, if you mean like put it in the, in the chat. Sarong Samo is asking how old I am. I am, I am timeless, yeah? I exist outside of, outside of time and space. <laughs> I have been around forever and will be around forever, yeah? <laughs> that's, my, that's my answer to that question. All right, so all of these sentences that Peter said are examples of the present perfect being used to show how long, <laughs> yes, I'm a vampire, exactly. I'm a vampire and I, I feed on students' mistakes to keep me alive, <laughs> to keep me young, all right? So don't worry about giving me mistakes. It, it, it keeps me looking, looking young and boyish, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so present perfect, how long? This is what we're talking about today for grammar, okay? And some of you are getting into it. You're giving me the formula and all that stuff. That's, that's great. Duration, Carla says, exactly. That's exactly what we're talking about. Oh, I noticed that I'm kind of in the way here. I'm going to kind of duck down. Actually, let me, let me disappear for a minute. So what we're talking about is these kinds of sentences here, right? How long is, is what we're focusing on here, right? How long have you been studying in this class? The answer, I started in November, so I've been here for two months. All right, so this is... This is duration, as Carla said, and I'll talk a little bit more about, <laughs> about, about this in a minute. Vivek says, I've <laughs> been killing people since the summer. <laughs> yeah. French Leo, yeah, I'm going I'm to get pretty big. That's right, but that's, that's why I don't, don't worry about making mistakes. Your mistakes make me, make me stronger, so give me more mistakes. I love them. I love the mistakes. Vivek's been here for three months. You know what, speaking of duration, I just realized that I've been teaching the Smart Life class for almost one year. It was late January of 2016 that I started with our first Smart Life class. It's almost been a year, that's crazy. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're talking about duration. We're talking about the present perfect continuous, I am the mis... <laughs> Knowledge is free. Are you giving me mistakes there? Mistake? <laughs> ah, you guys are funny. All right. So, as somebody already put in the chat, the formula for the present perfect, um, present perfect continuous, right? Or present perfect progressive, you might hear some people call it, is have or has, right? You need that for the present perfect, plus been right, been or been, depending on your, your pronunciation, and then the ing form of the verb, right, that what we call the present participle. And Steve is saying, for how long? Yeah, that's right. You could say that in, in a formal situation. For how long have you been in this class? Um, not very common in, in conversation, all right? Suggestions? Yeah, I, do I feed from suggestions like a vampire? Maybe. Sometimes suggestions make me weaker. <laughs> no. no, I'm joking. Yes, I love suggestions too. Okay, so this is the formula for present perfect continuous. Now we're going to start with the basics. We're going to look at the basic formula. I know some of you have, have, have done this before. This is a bit of a review, okay? But um, we'll get a little bit more complicated as we go, all right? So, 
Blurry face. Yeah, you've got, you've got the formula. Good for you. Rosa, good question. And we're going to talk about that um, a little bit later. The short answer is nothing. There is no difference. Okay, but I'll talk about it later. All right. If you're using the present perfect continuous, you have to use this guy here, bean, right? The third form, the past participle of the verb be. Because all continuous tenses need that guy, be. Okay? So, for example, present continuous, which you all know, like I am teaching, right now I am teaching, to talk about the continuous, something that continues and is not finished, you need am, right? Or are, or is, which is be, right? So you need be in that, in that construction. Good. All right. So, also, past continuous, same thing. Last Friday, at this time, I was teaching you, right? I was, was, again, being the past form of be. Yeah, Fruit Queen, we're good to, it's, it's good to have you. We're excited to see you, too. Good, best, as, am, is, are, exactly. Knowledge is free, is saying, I am studying. Yeah, hopefully some of you are listening to me. Some of you may be checking your, checking your Facebook. <laughs> That's fine. So, am, you've got was, and of course, to do the present perfect continuous, which we're looking at today, you have to use be as well. So, I have been teaching, I've been teaching this class for about 30 minutes. Wow, time goes by fast, right? <laughs> okay. You're going you're gonna to make mistakes just to, just to feed me? I appreciate it. I'm sleepy, so yeah, give me more mistakes. Give me, give me your strength. So I've been teaching this class for 30 minutes. I've been teaching, you can go further back, I've been teaching uh, Smart Live for one year almost. I've been teaching English for 12 years or so. Okay, so again, you've got the verb be there. Okay, so in all continuous tenses, you need be, either present, past, or for continuous, the past participle. All right, Rose is asking about state verbs. Yeah, you're, you're getting ahead of me, but that's good. And Vivek, no, you can't say I has been teaching. It has to be I have been, okay? And, and we'll talk about that right now, okay? Good question. Positive sentences or affirmative statements. How do you construct this sentence? Look at these people. What are they doing? What are they doing? Right. I've been watching the live class for 30 minutes. Good one, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> I've been getting smarter and smarter for 30 minutes. <laughs> Good. So what are they doing? They are waiting for the bus. They're waiting for the bus. Okay. Good one, knowledge is free, waiting for the bus. So let's talk about duration, how long, okay? Good, waiting, Rosa says. Good, 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 okay. Now, French Leo, that question, looking at the, the kind of the difference between past simple and present perfect, that we're going to focus on probably next week or in a, in a lesson very, very soon. Good question. Okay, they have been waiting. So, they have been waiting. There's your present perfect continuous, right? You've got your have, been in the, in the uh, past participle, and then your ing verb, okay? Now, getting back to what Vivek was saying, if the subject is they, or I, or we, right? I, we. Or, or uh, you, actually, it's not, it's not in there, but <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> then you use have, right? We have been waiting, I have been waiting. But if you want to talk about one of these guys, this guy, or this guy, you can say he, but he have doesn't work, does it? You gotta change this to has, right? He has been waiting. Good. They have been expecting the bus for 10 minutes. That's a good one. 
they've been waiting for 20 minutes. That's, that's, that's very specific. Yeah, good. Okay, so with, yeah, he or she, you'd say has, right? Or it, if there was a, I don't know, if there was a dog waiting for the bus, you'd say it has been waiting for a long time. And of course, as Carla is mentioning here, and I don't think I put it in the presentation here, but you can, you can contract that. You can reduce it and say, she's been waiting, right? Just so we're clear, you can say that. Good one, Carla. She's been waiting for a long time, right? Or, I've been waiting for a long time, okay? You can always contract that, that helping verb, that has or have. Good for you. They've been waiting for the bus for one year. They're very patient people, absolutely. <laughs> Good. So that's the positive construction of the present continuous, right? Good. As for negative statements, negative sentences, it's just a slight change that I'm sure you guys are familiar with. You know how to do this, right? They have been waiting here for a long time. How do you make that negative? Well, you just add the word not, right? They have not been waiting here for a long time. Say they're, yeah, they're, maybe they're very impatient. They've only been there for a short time, <laughs> okay? Good, yes, and Carla, I think, I think I did it there, didn't I? Yeah, good. So as Carla's mentioning in the chat, very good, with have not, you can reduce it to they haven't been, okay? Both of these are good. Both of these are okay. They haven't been waiting here for a long time. Or, again, if you want to change it to she, she hasn't been waiting here a long time, or she has not been waiting here. Good. Jundi saying, is it acceptable to say has been being? We'll, we'll talk a little bit about that in a bit, Jundi. That's a good question. I mean, that's about state verbs. The, shor the short answer is um, not really, but sometimes. Okay, that's my answer to that question, Jindy. But we'll come back to it. Good. And of course, questions. Questions. This is a good question. You come home. Yeah, right, Carla's saying you almost never say it without a contraction. Yeah, no, me neither. Me neither. I'm the same. So you come home, your roommate or your son or your brother or whoever, or your, your friend is there playing video games and you say, have you been playing video games all day, right? So you've got, have you been playing? There's, there's the present perfect continuous, and all you've done is taken the helping verb have and the subject you, and you just flip them, right? The statement would be, you have been playing. Have you been playing? That's a little bit of a judgmental question. Have you been playing video games all day? It sounds like I sound like your father <laughs> asking this question, right? Show me, you, you, knowledge is free saying what? You know someone cannot play all day? Well, somebody, I, I think people can play video games all day. I think you, if you don't think you can play all day, you gotta just change your, change your outlook. <laughs> if, you've got, if you've got enough water and snacks, you could play, you could play all day, right? So, so, the short answer would be yes, I have, right? Actually, yes, I've been playing video games all day, right? Or, of course, the, sh the, the negative being no, I haven't, right? I haven't been playing video games all day. And if anybody asks you this question, you can just, res this is how you answer them. You say, no, I haven't been playing video games all day. I've been sleeping all day. Actually, I just woke up five minutes ago, <laughs> right? You can watch, you, you prefer watching SpongeBob all day? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. And if you're asking, it, can I play video games all day? No, I can't because I, I have other things I have to do. I have other responsibilities, <laughs> right? 
So as, as we're saying here, this, this whole thing is about how long. As uh, I think Carla mentioned, it's about duration. Now Rosa's saying, can we use since at the end of a sentence with the present perfect? As the, as the very last word in the, in the sentence, Rosa, just clarify that question for me. All day long. Vivek, that's good. Just make sure you've got two L's in all there, right? Okay, so duration talks about how long. Duration is the length of time. So two minutes, three years, since high school, since this morning, these are examples of duration. And that's what we're talking about here, okay, is how long. So usually, when we're talking about how long, this is the tense we use. We use present perfect continuous to talk about how long. Not always, though. Yeah, right. French Leo, yeah, I, I agree. Aha, uh -huh. okay, <laughs> Carla. Carla, that's a good example. I haven't seen him since. Yeah, right. So that's that's a good example. Good for you. See, I'm I'm a little I'm a little tired. Carla's helping me out. She's my uh, she's my support today. This is great. Okay. So a few sentences here, right? And we'll talk about since and for soon. This is good. They have been studying English for two months. Mary has been working here since she was 22. I have been learning to play the piano for a while. So in each sentence, you've got the present continuous and a time expression, a, a duration of time, okay? Studying for two months, working since she was 22, and have been learning for a while. And as you can see, duration, <laughs> you've been cutting chicken all day long. <laughs> Well, hopefully, I, I don't know, is that your job to cut chicken? Uh, that's, a lot, that's a lot of chicken. <laughs> good, good example, Steve Lynn. I like that one. <laughs> okay. So the last example here, for a while, it's important to know that duration isn't always specific, right? Two months is specific. Since she was 22 is specific, but for a while, for a long time, this is still duration, even though it's a little bit unclear as to how long it is, right? He's been playing piano for a while. Well, that, that could mean many things. For a while could be two hours or it could be three months. She's my backup. That's right. Exactly. She's my co-pilot. <laughs> okay. Cool. So how about this? Oh, before we get into that. Just so I know that we're on the same, the same page. Again, we're, gonna, we're keeping, it, keeping it simple with the basics today. I am going to leave the screen and I'm going to get you guys to do some work. Okay? So, um, I've got five sentences here. And in each one I want you to finish it with the present perfect continuous. Just so that we know we're all we're all good with the, for, or the formation, the construction of present perfect continuous. So I give you the situation. Chris is practicing the guitar. He started practicing 30 minutes ago. Chris has been practicing the guitar for 30 minutes. Okay? So with these five sentences, just complete them with the present perfect continuous. Okay? And then we're going to talk about some more um, complex stuff, although time is time is ticking away, yeah? But it's so much fun. All right, so I'm going to put the, the monkey music on. I'm going to disappear. Put your answers in the chat. I'll give you about one or two minutes, and then I'll be back to go over the answers, guys, okay? All right, get, get to work.
All right, good, good, good. Good stuff. Somebody just asked me what political science is. I don't know if that, is that in there somewhere? They talk about political science? <laughs> political science is, is just the study of politics. I don't, I don't know where that sarang is, is asking me that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't know, is, do you see that somewhere? Who knows, it's fine, okay. Uh, lots of good answers coming in on the chat. Let's go over them together. B, the man is working. He started working at eight. What do you got for B? Firda Medini for B says, yeah, there you go. Good one, Firda. The man has been working. Perfect. Present perfect continuous. <laughs> All right. The man has been working since eight. Awesome. Good stuff, Firda. C, Andrea usually goes to Jamaica for her vacation. She started going there four years ago. All right, so for C, what do we have here? <laughs> Rosie, yeah, the world has gone crazy, right? Me doing easy stuff. Wyam, 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 Orgy? said has been going that's perfect Andrea has been going and then you could say to Jamaica if you wanted to Jamaica has been going to Jamaica for four years meaning kind of a regular thing right not just one long trip for four <laughs> years right that would be a very long flight if it took four years but this is a regular thing right good D I usually do my grocery shopping at Mary's Market. I started going there. Let me make this a little bit, a little bit bigger. I started going there when, I, when it opened in 2002. Chari, you got it. Good. Who else? Yeah, Chari, you got it, I think. 
I have been going there. You just missed the E on there, but that's, that's good. Um, say I've, or I have been going there. You could say going there. You could say uh, shopping there. Either one, going there, shopping there is good, right? I've been shopping there since 2002. Perfect. All right. <laughs> e, I'm waiting in line. I joined the line 10 minutes ago. Who's got E for me? Who's got E? Rosa Cassiero. That's Rosa from Italy, I believe, right? She says, I have been waiting. Perfect. I have been or I've been waiting. Great. I guess I should, I should have put some, some negative sentences in here, too, just to make you guys um, practice that next time. It says, it's snowing. The snow started an hour ago. What do we have here? Blurry face. You got something for me? Who's got F? Vivek has been making, making mistakes since he was born. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Me too. Sarang saying bye. See you later. Thanks for coming. Who's got, where's F? Gabriel. Get mitts. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah, you should get mittens in a, in a scarf. <laughs> Good. But where's the answer for F? Who's got F? All right. Rosa's got it too. Zainab. Okay. There you go. Zainab's got it. It has been snowing. It's been snowing for an hour. All right, really good, guys. I know we're 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 getting close to the hour mark here, but I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep going for a bit. Abdella Bahlawan. Bah Bahlawan? Am I saying that right? You want me to say hi? Hi, hi, Abdella. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna keep going for a little bit, guys, because there's more there's more to learn here. There's more to talk about, especially something that I think um, some of you were kind of raising questions in the chat about this. Simple or continuous? All right. So what are we talking about here? Well, I said before that we usually use, we usually use the present perfect continuous to express duration or how long. But of course, as Rosa sees there, as, as Rosa's mentioning in the chat, we don't always use continuous <coughs> for duration. There are exceptions, of course, because it's English, it's a language, and there are always going to be um, exceptions. Yeah? Okay, so let's look at it. This is the exception here. We do not use state verbs in the present perfect continuous. Okay? Did I, did I just say way in? Maybe I did. It's a good expression. Luciano's here. Hi, Luciano. All right, so don't use a state verb in the present perfect. Okay, so what do I mean by state verb? What are we talking about here? What's a state verb, right? Well, let me sh I'll show you in a minute, but with these state verbs, we use the present perfect simple, or just the regular present perfect. Okay, so we've got all of these examples. These are some common state verbs. Now, go, I wouldn't say go is a state verb. Usually go is more of an action, right? State verbs are more like feelings, emotions, um, or just what we call states are verbs that don't, they don't just happen and they're finished. The word itself has a kind of a continua continuation to it. If you believe something or if you know something, that continues, okay? If I know uh, your name, I will probably know your name <laughs> tomorrow and the next day. So you don't use these verbs in the continuous tense. Of course, as Bilal is, is putting in there, there are exceptions, right? Love, I've been loving you. You will hear 
um, people say that, or, you know, McDonald's, I'm loving it, that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so there are always going to be exceptions, and we'll maybe look at, look at some of those too, but these are the state verbs. Now, if you look at these sentences, I have had a cold for two weeks, which is, that's actually true, I have had a cold for two weeks. Have, the verb have, is a state verb, okay? Next one, she, Sean, she, Sean has been a teacher for 12 years. Be is a state, it's not an action. It doesn't usually just start and stop, okay? I've been thinking about you f for two hours, Leo, you'd say, yeah. Because think can be an action. It can be an action, right? But you can't say, I've been knowing you for two years. This is what I'm talking about here. So we have known each other all of our lives. Now let me jump out of here into the notes because I think down here I wrote these sentences. Where did I put them? Now these are the sentences that I just showed you. If you took this and you put it in the continuous, I have been having I have been having a cold for two weeks. That is wrong. You cannot do that. It's weird. It's strange. Because have continues. It's a state. You don't have to put ing on there if you have something. You don't say, I have been having a brother, right? It's weird. Don't do it. I have had a cold for two weeks. <laughs> You guys, I don't know what you're talking about in the chat. Talking about creepy? All right, Sean, it's the same thing here. Sean has been, Sean has been being a teacher. Awful. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. I've been experiencing a cold, Carla. That's grammatical. A little strange, though. We wouldn't actually say I've, I'm experiencing a cold. You just say I have, I have one. I have one. Okay? So, Sean has been a teacher. Keep it the present perfect simple because be is not an action. Again, it's a state. It's something that continues. I am a teacher. Tomorrow I will be a teacher. Probably, right? I assume I'll be a teacher next week as well. Okay? And the same thing, uh, the example about I've been thinking about you, you can't, you don't want to say we have been knowing we have been knowing each other is very weird. All right. Fear to I've been getting I've been getting a short haircut. Mm, it's a little strange. I can't really think of the of the situation where you would say that, Fear to. Um, I would say I am if it's if it's happening right now, I'm getting a short haircut or I have I have gotten a short haircut. Yes, of course, <laughs> Carla's testing me here. She's saying, yes, teach can be in the continuous. And this is what we're going to talk about in a minute, Carla. Yeah, you're, you're getting ahead of me here. So we have known each other all of our lives. You're saying, I've been an amazing teacher for 12 years? Well, maybe I've been an amazing teacher for 11 and a half years, maybe. <laughs> okay. All right, so let me get back into this. Because <laughs> here is where it gets maybe tricky or maybe confusing because there are, some, there are some verbs where either one is okay, okay? But for most state verbs, don't use continuous, okay? But sometimes, as I said, simple or continuous can be used. And Rosa, you asked me a question um, earlier. I forget what the verb was, but we can, when we're talking about certain verbs, talking about habits or routines or, or things like this, things that we do regularly or usually, we can use either the present perfect simple or the present perfect continuous. Loving is incorrect. Well, Vivek, I mean, that's, that's a, it's a good example of I think I was just talking about this in the Facebook group this week, that language kind of changes. Now, love is a state, and according to the rules, you shouldn't say, I am loving something. 
but we nowadays in common use of the language we say it all the time if you get a new we're talking about music today you get a new album some new music you say oh I, I'm loving I am loving this album it's it's kind of modern new let's say colloquial maybe but it's acceptable okay now back into this these are a few verbs that we can use both play work teach study live wear like wear glasses right you can use both yo Marison I'm loving it right exactly but up 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 okay Aaron Aaron said it too. <laughs> yeah. uh, these words are fine so let me show you some examples here whoops so I've worked here since 1998. That's not true. That's not me. <laughs> not that long. I've worked here since 2007, which is still a long time. <laughs> All right. Is that true? Yeah, that's a long time. So I've worked here or I've been working here. Both are fine because work is kind of a thing that continues itself. It's, it's kind of, it could be kind of like a state verb. So it's acceptable in the present perfect simple. Diari is loving this lesson. <laughs> Me too. I'm loving being here with you guys too. All right. I've played the piano for 10 years. I've been playing the piano for 10 years, right? So again, if this is your if if you're talking about a routine thing that happens a lot, you can use the present perfect simple. Okay? I've played the drums since junior high school. I was probably 12, 12 years old. So I've played the drums um, since I was 12. I've played guitar since I was about 14. Okay, But you can use continuous as well. But if you're just <coughs> at home and you're talking about how long you've been playing the guitar now, just this time, you would use the continuous, right? I've been playing the guitar for two hours is probably more common. But again, both are kind of acceptable, <laughs> which is crazy. That's just English. It's an option, you're saying. Yeah, right. Good. You've got choices in English. It's great. I've worn glasses since I was five years old. Also, that's not true. I guess I should have, I could have put real, um, a real example in there. I've been wearing glasses. I've been wearing glasses since I was 18 years old, or 19, I think. I've worn glasses since I was 18 or 19 years old. Both of them are acceptable. Okay, both are good. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know who you're talking about there, Vivek. Good. All right, so Rosa Cassiero has a question. I have lived in Australia, or I used to live in Australia. Yeah, Ro I think some of you guys are already answering Rosa's question there in the chat, and, and either one is, is okay. I've lived in Australia. I used to live in Australia. Those are both good, Rosa. Um, as we talked about last week, I have lived in Australia. You're talking about your experience. I used to live in Australia. Again, you're talking about something from the, from the past, which, again, is, is a kind of experience as well. So that's, that's fine. Oftentimes we use used to to express something that's no longer happening now, right? Like I used to like hockey. It means I don't like hockey anymore, okay? So, I guess, Rosa, to, to be clear, how, okay, how about this? Let me, let me clarify that, because that's a good example. If you just say, I have lived in Australia, and just leave it like that, Rosa. It sounds to me like you don't live there anymore, right? I have lived in Australia. This is my experience. Yomer is asking me if I can play the piano. I can, I can fake it, okay? If you had a gun and you said, play the piano or I'm gonna shoot you in the leg, I can, I'll play you a little, a little chopsticks or something, right? I can. <laughs> Carol is saying, why have you shaved your beard? <laughs> I think you're I think you're thinking of somebody else, Carol. All right. So getting back to Rosa here. All right. 
I have lived in Australia sounds like experience, okay? So if you just say that, then it's the same as saying, I used to live in Australia. It's very similar in meaning, right? Both of them suggest that you don't live there anymore. But if you put this, now that changes the meaning, right? If you say, I have lived in Australia for two years, that might make people think that you still, that you still live there now, right? <laughs> no. Well, Carla, yeah, I've been living in Australia. Well, if you still live there, you would probably just say, I live in Australia, right? OK. 10, 10 05. OK. Hmm. I'm going to keep going, guys. OK? There's a couple more things I want to I show you before we go. All right? I don't think we're going to get to the mistake of the week, but, well, we'll see. You guys can always leave whenever you want. <laughs> because basically, we need to talk about um, for and since, right? For and since is, uh, are the two kind of time expressions that we use the most to talk about duration. Steve Lynn is saying, I lived in Australia. Yeah, right. Yeah, you could say that, I lived in Australia. But, if you're, but Steve, if you're talking about just experience, if someone says, um, where, have you, where have you lived? Have you, have you lived in other countries? I've lived in Korea, for example, okay? I have lived in Korea. Steve, to talk about the past simple, you should say, you, if you're talking about a specific time in the past, I lived in Korea in 2005, okay? Now maybe because I, I'm lacking sleep, I, I, maybe I'm all over the place today. I don't know. Hopefully you guys are kept keeping up with me. <laughs> okay. Luciano's been learning English for one year. Perfect. You need that mistake of the week. Austin needs it. It's the highlight. Okay, I won't let you down, Austin, okay? So I'll do one more thing, and then we'll do the mistake of the week before you guys, before you guys go, to, go to bed or whatever you do. <laughs> okay. For or since. These are the two words we use the most when we're talking about duration. So for, when we use for, we're talking about um, an, amount, an amount of time. We'll say that, an amount of time, a length of time. So you would say, for example, let me get some bullet points going here, for two years, right? So an amount of time that you can kind of measure like that, right? An amount of time, yeah? For two years, for three months, for 60 seconds, right? Any, any length of time you use for. And again, it could, be, it could be vague, as we said, for a while, right? Or for a little while. I've been here for a little while. Right? Now that's a little bit different from since. Okay, maybe I can, let's see, let me put these both together. See if that works. Okay. And then over here, let's put since. So since, you're talking about a time period. Okay? Yeah, you've got four, seven years, four, two years, four a week, for two decades. Right. Now, since you're talking about a, a, a point in time or a, a, a specific, say, a specific period in time, a time period, right? So you're not talking about the length. You're saying since 1996, right? That's a, that's a time. That's a starting point, as Rose is saying. Good for you. Specific time in the past. Good. Gabriel saying, I've been using rote learning for ages. Yeah, rote learning is boring. Absolutely. Try to, try to branch out from there. I, I agree with that. 1996 is a period of time. Since this morning is a period of time. Since last year is a, is a period of time, right? Since, um, as we said, high school. Now, of course, 
Another thing that's a little bit different is that since you can use with, as a, with a clause, right? And say, since I was young, or since he was in elementary school, OK? With since, you can use these clauses, which is a little bit different than for. Since junior high school, Milena, good. Firda, that's, I'm glad you said that. Now, that's, this, is, this actually, this should be the mistake of the week. Right, you know what? How about, OK, how about this? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do something very different. So, how about this? I have been studying. I have been waiting for mm, his, his what? His email since, uh, or how about this, for Is that what I want to say? All right. This is the mistake of the week right here. Okay. What's the mistake? Where's the problem here? Who can find me the mistake of the week here? I've been waiting for his email for two days ago. Rosa's got it. Chari's got it. Yeah, just be careful of that ago, right. When we're using for and since, for and since, we don't, we don't usually use the word ago, right? You don't say like since two days ago, right? Or for two days ago, rather. So just be careful of this word ago, all right? But how about this? I'm going to give you another mistake of the week too, because you guys have been so have been so patient with me and my my sleepy brain today. Okay, so just be careful of the word ago. Don't be using that with for. Okay. Okay. So let's get away from the present perfect for now. I'm going to give premium subscribers. I'm going to give you some homework. We say now. What do you mean, Carol? Right, OK, a go should not be there. Yeah, we never, never use it, Akram. Cherry got it? Good for you. Yeah, I wouldn't say since two days ago. I mean, since, well, since two days ago, just say for two days, right? or since whenever that was. I think it sounds better. OK, just watch out with that, that use of a go. OK? All right, so how about this? You guys have been working hard today. Let me give you a real, a real deal mistake of the week, OK? I know we're going a little bit long, but um, you guys are doing well. Luciana says, easy peasy. Yeah, I know. That was an easy one. Let's see if I can, if I can trick you this time, OK? I'm going to put the music on. As you guys know, I'm going to put a sentence up here. And I want you to try to find the mistake. Whoever finds it first is the best student in the world. That other one, that was just a warm up. This is the real mistake of the week, okay? I'm gonna put the music on. I'm gonna give you five seconds. I want you to find me that mistake. All right, you ready? All right, here's the sentence Find me a mistake.
Mm, good stuff. Now, some of you guys, your, your mistakes are making me stronger. It's wonderful. I feel young again. <laughs> right. Now, yeah, you guys, you guys are kind of looking in the right place, kind of, but you're missing the mistake. Well, some of you got it. A lot of you are looking at this word neither. You're saying, I'm a really big fan of his music, but neither of these songs are my favorite. Right? So you're looking at neither, and you're saying, no, that's not, that's not okay. Something's wrong there. It should be none or something. I mean, you could say none, none of these songs, that's right, but that's different, right? Neither of these songs, that's grammatical, that's okay, because I'm just talking about two. I'm talking about two songs. I like his music, but these two songs I don't really like, okay? So some of, who, who got it? Who's the first person? Let me scroll up, way up. French Leo nailed it, good for you. But were you the first? I think you were, French Leo. Good for you. A lot of people saying neither, neither, neither. Either, neither, none, really. So you got French Leo got it. He's the fastest man on the planet. Um, and the best, maybe ironically, the best came in second place. <laughs> <laughs> the best is the second fastest person, <laughs> which is good. So the mistake, Alejandro, what are you saying? Ah uh, shouldn't be there? Oh, this? No, you need that. I'm a uh, really big fan of his music. That's good. The mistake is there, okay? Leo, you are fast. Right? The mistake here is subject verb agreement. All right, this word neither is what we call an indefinite pronoun. Now, anybody who took my class last week, we talked about the word indefinite. Yo, Mara, don't feel stupid. Mistakes are a beautiful thing, as I said. Mistakes are wonderful, yeah? <laughs> okay. Neither is an indefinite pronoun. Indefinite pronoun is a pronoun that is non, not super specific. It's not like he or or uh, she or it, right? Words like neither, none, uh, all the some and any, someone, anyone, all of these are indefinite pronouns and they are singular, okay? Neither is a singular word, so it needs a singular verb. So neither of these songs is my favorite, okay? <laughs> Carla doesn't work well under pressure. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, just remind me never to ask you to, uh, to defuse a bomb or something for me. Okay? <laughs> All right. Not, not on the bomb squad for Carla. So these words, all of these are indefinite pronouns and all of these are singular. Even, even one here. This guy. I can't even point to it. Uh, <laughs> there, one is singular, okay? So all of these should take a singular, <laughs> a singular verb. Samuel saying, I am right. Am I right? What are you right about, Samuel? I missed your question. What's your question? Do I have to go up to, to find it? Is, yeah, yeah, you're right. Good for you. Good for you. All right. <laughs> So, here's the deal, for, uh, for uh, premium subscribers to SMART, anybody in SMART, there's, a, there's an exercise practicing this, okay, I'm going to show you where it is, and this, is, this can be part of your homework for the week. Aaron Young, I got your homework yesterday, I just haven't looked at it yet, so I'll, I'll be sending that to you um, today. Now, in here, subject verb agreement in unit seven, this is the rule that we're talking about here, and there's an exercise that you can do to practice this, to avoid this very common mistake. <laughs> you think it's better for me to leave? You mean, <laughs> I hope you mean just the screen for a moment, maybe. <laughs> okay, so premium subscribers, I'm gonna be sending the homework, I'm gonna be putting the homework on the blog, okay, but you guys can, Anybody who's in SMART, anybody who's in the class can go in there and listen to Peter's full story and answer some more questions, okay? And um, how about this? I'm going to pop out of here.
So I'm going to put the homework on the blog for all you guys to check out. Here I am, green screen. Good, good for me. All right. Yeah, we went 20 minutes long. Hopefully, uh, you guys weren't too sleepy, right? Um, but this is one of the highlights of my week. I look forward to this all week to be here with you guys. I have lots of fun. Um, I'm loving your way of teaching. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you miss them. <laughs> yeah, I miss them too. Um, so thanks for coming. Um, it's always a pleasure, as, as always. As it's, it's, it's lots of fun for me to, to do this with you guys. Um, again, if you're a, a premium subscriber, I'm going to send the homework on the blog. And um, if you're not, I mean, just, well, it's free. Come, keep coming back. It's good to see you. I like having as many people in this class as possible. It's great. Um, keep checking out the Learn English on Facebook group. I've got some, some more questions and quizzes uh, to put up there. Keep your questions uh, coming. And, of course, like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet. And um, we'll see you here next time. It's 1.20 in the morning, Jindy. Good, good for you. All right. Um, so, yeah, have a nice weekend if, it's, if you're watching this live. Um, if you're watching the video, have a nice day or evening or, or Merry Christmas or whenever it is. All right. And we'll see you here next time. Um, for anybody, again, anybody who's new, um, thanks for joining, and hopefully you'll, you'll be back uh, here next time. Same time, same place. Because I'll be here coming to you live from Vancouver from the Canadian College of English Language. And everybody's saying, saying bye, bye, bye. But I'm going to go take a nap now. Okay, I'm going to go get a little shut-eye. No, I'm not. I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, take care, guys, and we'll see you next time. All right? Keep practicing your English, your, your present perfect continuous. Until next Friday. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want the full experience of being a student in a smart live class with things like homework and teacher feedback, follow the link and become a premium subscriber. Also, if you want to see more videos from this class, check out our playlist.